Hello folks, welcome back to the Curse of Monkey Island Mega Mode. Voodoo doll. I don't need it. Well, it's I just a toy. Why well, does it look there's, like there's still a pin there for some reason? We need to get some gum. That doesn't need gum. Okay. I can't get any more. It ate my nickel. It ate his nickel. So we can only get one pack of gum. Uh, let's give some gum to Murray. <laughs> That's really fun to watch. Skeleton chewing gum. Mm. I think he wants to be alone right now. Okay. We don't talk to Murray. Now let's go back in the town. Welcome, patron, to the Barbary Coast, where every haircut is an adventure. Aye, and if you're wanting a haircut, you'll have to wait until I'm finished with Captain Rottingham here. Are you guys pirate barbers? We prefer the term buccaneer hairstylists. Great! Maybe you guys can help me find this huge diamond ring I'm looking for. Diamond ring? Yeah, it's supposedly enormous, and it's on Blood Island. Blood Island? Never heard of it. It's a funny story, really. I need it to lift this curse that's turned my girlfriend into a solid gold statue. Solid gold? Wait a second. Did I just share too much? Yeah, you did. It's a salty pirate, sucking on some candy. Ahoy there! I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. So? So, it's good to meet you, Mr... Bill. Bill? That's your pirate name? Bill? Cutthroat Bill. Oh, I see. Well, that puts a whole new spin on it, doesn't it? Are you ever going back to pirating? Maybe. Someday. If I find the right captain. Perfect! I'll be your captain. Onward to Blood Island and high adventure. Wanna come? You a captain? Hardly. I'm the mighty pirate who defeated LeChuck. And what do you have to show for it? I've got a ton of cool stories. Treasure, immense mounds of gold and diamonds, solid gold scepters of power, anything? Well, I've got these nickels. Wooden? Uh, yeah. Some treasure hunter you are. You couldn't find gold in a jewelry shop. I bet I could find gold on this very island. How much would you bet? Well, I've got these nickels. Right. Come back when you have some real treasure to show me. Say, uh, what you eating there? Jawbreaker. Is it good? Yep. You don't say much, do you? Nope. So he's eating a jawbreaker. Remember in the Curse of Monkey Island, the easy mode, there's a jawbreaker on the floor when we first come in the barber shop. Cutthroat Bill is sucking on the jawbreaker that we need. That's a really good jawbreaker there, huh? Yep. Well, that's just terrific, isn't it? Yep. 
Boy, I sure could go for a jawbreaker right about now. Yep. I said I sure could go for a jawbreaker right about now. I hope you find one. You gonna finish that jawbreaker? Sure am. Okay, just checking. Now, how do you get this? It's been a pleasure. Bye. Jawbreaker from him. You know, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. I think we've, well, we've bonded. How did you do that? Oh, it was nothing, really. Just sudden pressure applied below the sternum to expel a foreign object from the windpipe. That's amazing. I owe you my life. From now on... Yes? From now on, that will be known as the Threepwood Maneuver. Nah. The Threepwood Maneuver. Ah, uh, there's our jawbreaker. Straight from the mouth of Cutthroat Bill. Ahoy there! I'm Guybrush Threepwood. I see. And I don't care. So you're a ship captain, huh? Not just any ship captain. Don't tell me you've never heard of Captain Ronnie Rottingham. I've never heard of Captain Rottingham. I'm only the most cunning and well-groomed captain ever to say of the Caribbean. Well, how'd you like to join my crew? Me serve on your crew? Please don't make me break into hysterical laughter while this buffoon is working on my hair. Why don't you want to join my crew? I serve on the no man. Oh boy. Now just one second. If there's any treasure to be found, I'm going to be the man to find it. And I'll look absolutely stunning while I'm doing it. Did you know you're starting to go gray? I most certainly am not. Uh, don't get me wrong. Gray hair suits you. It doesn't... I mean, of course it would. But uh, I don't have to worry about that for several years. If I were you, I'd worry more about those split ends. Split ends? I'll have you know I've killed men for comments less slanderous than that. You've got a bald spot starting here in the back. What? You're lying, of course. If you say so. All I know is that there's definitely some kind of shine going on back here. You seem irritable. Is it from your dry scalp? My scalp is lovingly massaged with the finest creams and oils in the world. Twice daily. Yeah, that's a little more than I wanted to know. Your petty jobs and insults mean nothing to me. You seem busy. I'll come back later. Ahoy there! I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pie. Quiet! Red... Huh? Don't distract him while he's working on me! Aye, laddie. You'll have to wait your turn. It's the pirate we. Okay, so we can't talk to him until Captain Rottingham leaves, I guess, until we get rid of Captain Rottingham. Ahoy there! I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Of course you are! Okay then, who are you? Edward Van Helgen! Not the! That's right, mine is the name that pirates fear the most. Edward Snugglecakes Van Helgen. Dude! How'd you like to join my ever-growing pirate crew? Your crew? Why would I want to be on your crew? It's gonna be a blast! We're going to Blood Island. Sorry, Threepwood. As much as I'd love to be out at sea again, I could never serve a captain who wasn't a gentleman and who wasn't my equal. Gentlemen? That's me all over. Then prove it. If you can defeat me in a gentleman's duel, I'll join your crew. All right, let's get to dueling. No, no, no. There are rules. If you want to duel with me, you have to give me sufficient insults. Hmm, okay. Hey, that's a nice shirt. How long have you been colorblind? 
Oh, please. Nice cologne you're wearing. Did you actually roll around in dung or just dab a little behind each ear? That's not the type of insult I had in mind. Did I mention you're a big old bedwetting duty head? No, but I'm still not impressed. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. That's an old one. Come back when you have some fresher material, eh? I don't want to insult you. Why can't we just get along? Whoa, look at the time. Gotta scoot. Okay, so maybe we can go in here. Magic wand. Magic wand's gonna have a lot more use in this game than Watch it did. Watch me make this disappear. Than it did in the easy mode. Nothing up my sleeve? <laughs> Presto! Hey, it worked! There's something inside. There's a book. The A, B, C's of ventriloquism. Hey! It's a sticker from Blood Island. It says, Blood Island is for bleeders. A message from the Blood Island Tourism Council. Hey, maybe the performer who owns this trunk knows how to get to Blood Island. To swab or not to swab? No, no, that's not right. Hey! What's that putrid, stench-ridden drivel that you're rehearsing? But this, this is the master work of the Bard. Do you really think it's that bad? Do pirates drink grog? Oh, I knew I shouldn't have altered the material. How could I have taken up my wretched pen and stabbed it bodkin-like through the unsullied poetry of the master? You rewrote Shakespeare? I was compelled to. Not a single person was coming to any of my performances. Oh, the stupid, brutish pirates! Not men enough to confront their own sensitive inner natures. So, I rewrote the whole folio, contracted the brilliance of decades into a 45-minute review. Spear! A theatrical medley. Can I join your show? Let me be blunt. You just don't have the hands of a spear carrier. You have no idea how often I hear that. Have you been to Blood Island? But of course. Blood Island was once the place to be if you were an artist in the Caribbean. Those were the days. We were young and wild, pushing the limits of our craft. Oh, what risky, daring performances we gave. We weren't afraid to shock or offend the stodgy, mainstream sensibilities of our audiences. Oh, what did you perform? Dinner theater, mostly. Could you tell me how I can find Blood Island? My agent, Palado Domingo, always handled the travel arrangements. He would know how to get there. Any idea where I could find him? He's a member of the Brimstone Beach Club here on Condor Island. You might catch him there. Carry on. Come on, Slappy. You've got to get this right. The show opens today. Nah. Then I kill Caesar, follow that up with a little soft shoe. I don't remember- So how'd you get roped into doing this show? I'm a spokesmodel, actually. But what I really want to do is act. People just don't take you seriously when you're a spokesmodel. How surprising. Yeah, isn't it? Break a peg leg. Thanks. A pirate by any other name would still reek. Ah. 
Uh, let's see here. I'll focus on money in gameplay right here in the next video. I don't know what we'll be doing. Go bushwhacking. So until then, this is Gamer Lon signing out, saying thanks for watching and take care, folks. Bye.